This video has been made possible by BenQ. If you're a digital artist in need of a professional monitor, then check out the link below. Okay, everybody, so we're in Marvelous Designer 9. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because I did tutorials in the past in version 7. Uh, I just upgraded to 9. I see a lot of things have been changing. Uh, new uh, user interface, buttons have moved around, new functions and so on. So I decided to start a new series and this is going to be the first one, right? So we're going to keep it really simple. We're going to do just a pillow, that's all, and uh, we'll take it from there, right? Okay, let's get started. So for a pillow, I need two sides, obviously, and I want a rectangle to uh, create that on my right hand side in a 2D pattern window. I have a, a rectangle up here, but if you don't, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the 2D pattern on the top left. You're going to go to create and under rectangle, you have the short key, which is S or you click on rectangle, right? I'm just going to go back to the right here, click S and just drag out a rectangle like so. And there you have it. Okay. And of course we need two to make a pillow. And so what I'm going to do with it selected, I'm going to hit control C to copy it. And before I paste it, I'm going to right click and go to mirror paste. All right. So now from my, if I move my mouse upward and I click, you'll see that a second one will be created. All right, there we go. Now in my 3d view, I want to see where they're at. So I'm just going to go in here and let's see, we'll go up to, yeah. Okay. So display viewport, let's go to the front. All right. Okay. We'll zoom out a little bit. So here are our two guys. Now this is the one in the bottom. This is the one in the top. That one has to go back. So I'm going to take my gizmo and I'm going to pull it back and I'll take it again and I'll push it down. Now, the thing is that the one in the back is now uh, backward, right? So I need to right click in the sky and flip horizontally. So now the right side is facing out and the right side is facing out. Now these two need to be sewn together, but I also want them to be closer to the grid, right? So I'm going to select this guy. We're going to use our gizmo again. And I'm just going to get that a little bit closer to our grid there, right? So I'm just going to hit F on my keyboard to frame that. There we go. And now we're going to start to sew. Now I'm going to do that in my 3D window. So I'm going to click on my sewing machine right there. And I'm going to double click on the first one, leaving a blue line double clicking on the other one and there you have it it's sewn together let's continue double click here double click there we'll flip it around for the next one double click here double click there and then finally on the bottom double click here all right so now that we have all of these, what we can do is run a simulation. So we're going to go to the top left corner. We're going to click on the arrow right there. And there you go. Okay. It's falling straight down. It's collapsing as you can see. So let's reset our simulation. And what we need to do next is we need to apply pressure to give it the shape of an actual pillow, right? Now, I saw a, um, a video online uh, that a lady created about a pillow flying away once you pressurize it, and she talked about reversing the normals. Uh, um, I mean, if the normals are reversed, sure, then that's a way to do it, but I'll explain what's going on. So I'm gonna double click on the top one right there, right? And then here under uh, the fabric tab, you have a property editor, and under here you have a pressure tab, right? So if I go in here and set this to a pressure value of six, all right, I made enter. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to apply pressure. It's starting to become a pillow, but it's also taken off. As you can see, it's moving out of the screen, right? So we're going to reset the simulation. There you go. The reason for that is the pressure is applied on the normals on one side of the pillow. So in order to equal that out, I need to apply it on both. So I'm going to double click on the second one and you'll see that the pressure on that one is still zero. So if I got six and six on each side, it should stay perfectly in the middle, right? So let's hit play again. Let's simulate that out. It's falling down and it's not going anywhere as you can see, right? Perfect. Alrighty. 
So let me just uh, get this guy in view here. We're gonna go up to uh, display and we'll go to our front and then we'll just flip that around. And as you can see, it's just, uh, you know, finding its way and lying down comfortably, you know, ready for you to take a nap, right? So that's all there's to it, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions about Marvelous Designer or you want me to create any videos, if they're not too complicated and I can actually do it, I will, right? Well, that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I